Call of Duty is a big and ambitious offering. I mean, I think we know that in campaign it's all about a gripping narrative and really meaningful interactions with characters that you come to value and appreciate. Yeah, I think I can take what he said and narrow it to like one word, and that's quality. And I know that sounds really simple, but um, it's really not, of course. If everything that you do in the game, even you're getting down to the what's the font in it, if you have the care and the passion and you have people dedicated to quality, if you start with the quality, in, it's in the script, it's in the design, and then if you can do that with flawless execution, it really is about hiring the right people and getting the right people and, 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 and acting on quality, I think. And when you really dive into research, like Glenn said, and you really talk to people who were there, veterans or historians who can walk you through the general sacrifice of common men and women here, man, it becomes a very personal and powerful story that you really want to honor. This is the most personal game I think we've made. Yeah, probably. You know, we do have the big set pieces, and I do think that that's part of, uh, part of Sledgehammer, is trying to show some of the big sweeping moments, but they wouldn't be as big if they didn't have the moments of stealth and trying to figure out where you're going. I think once you get that balance right and that, that mixture right, and then you focus on the quality again, that's, that's, uh, that's the key. Well, our set pieces are based on reality. Well, now, we may take it a, a little step or two further, but I mean, some of the stuff that we have seen, like we'll look at documentaries of train crashes or uh, steeples falling or things like that. And some of the stuff that we do, I'm like, man, you got to double the size of the explosion, just seeing what it was like in real life. It was a giant, giant battle. And I mean, there was, there was times when they had the largest carpet bombing of all time was in World War II, right, in, in Cobra. And they're not about to repeat that. And they didn't do that in Vietnam. They haven't done it in any war because there's so many casualties on both sides, right, because of it. But scale like that, I mean, some things that we put in the game don't even come close to what they were in World War II. So it's, it's us trying to achieve more. Yeah. You know, I think one thing that World War II gives us that has been really rewarding is that it's based on true events. So in both modern warfare and advanced warfare, we had to really lift the player's imagination to let them understand the protagonist and antagonist, what was going on in this world, and do they believe in this future technology or not. In World War II, it really happened. And so inspired by true events, these were huge moments in human history, right? The landing on Normandy, iconic moment of thousands of Allied troops landing on the beach, facing overwhelming odds by the German stronghold. That epic blockbuster set piece happened and we've all seen it at some point or another in our lives. And so to be able to recreate that and then like you say, liberation of Paris and all the way to the Battle of Aachen. They're different moments, right? Because we blew up the Golden Gate Bridge in the last one, which is gigantic, right, to do. But, you know, landing on Normandy with 3,500 people, you know, in all these boats at the same time and being shelled, is actually a bigger moment. It's a, it's a bigger and harder thing for us to portray it. That's what this war gave us was big set pieces that were different. And really emotionally impactful, yeah. right? Like really powerfully emotionally impa yeah, impactful. Yeah. Like the Golden Gate Bridge moment was a great moment for us, but nothing captures sort of that sense of heroics and sacrifice like D-Day, where real men fought and died on the shores, right? So that has a power to it that I think it, it'll come through in the campaign and certainly has been rewarding to work on. Proud of the team and the proud of the uh, production values that, that they're putting into it. I just feel like everybody gives it their 110%, right? Sometimes I think you go to a place to work and they just want you to do your job, but everybody here does a great job. I hope that they, uh, they walk away with what an epic game the scale, the sweeping nature of it, the story, the, uh, the MP, the, the, the whole thing, it just should be big and epic like the war itself. <laughs>